Hi, this is Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to begin a short series of beers from the Kyoto Brewing Company in Kyoto, Japan. And uh, Kyoto Brewing has been around since uh, 2015. And uh, I have known the, this is a disclosure, I've known the head brewer for a number of years. Uh, and I've sampled his home brews many a time before he became a brewer. Now, the brewery was founded in 2015 by three people, uh, an American, the brewer, and a Canadian, and a Welshman. And the three of them met when they were uh, working on the JET program in northern Japan and kept in touch and over the years uh, uh, decided to work together and create a brewery. Um, the head brewer studied in the U.S. He did an internship at uh, Lost Abbey in California and also another internship at Shiga Kogen, one of the very best Japanese brewers uh, in Nagano, Japan. And in 2015, their very first year, uh, they were chosen as the uh, best new brewery in Japan by uh, Great Beer Best Annual Survey. In 2019, last year, they were chosen as the best brewery in Japan by the Rate Beer Best uh, uh, survey. Uh, they have a, a tap room in Kyoto uh, next to this, attached to the brewery, and they're open on weekends uh, only at the current moment, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, they have three main beers, uh, uh, a lineup of three main beers, and also two seasonal lines, uh, Kimagure line and Shunkashuto line. And they're kind of rethinking that right now, I think. Uh, the Kimagore line has been traditionally a pale ales or IPAs, uh, session IPAs, things like that. And Shunka Shuto line uh, were saisons. And each of these were seasonal. So one for spring, summer, fall, and winter each. Um, they're currently reconsidering uh, how they're going to do the uh, uh, Shunka Shuto line, I believe. Uh, so they may not have that in the future. Uh, but uh, on Rate Beer, they have uh, 175 beers, I believe, uh, quite a few. Uh, and uh, so they've been experimenting. They do lots of new things. Uh, and they've done a number of collaborations. They're uh, uh, kind of growing organically. Uh, and I think they've been doing a great job. So we're going to look at several beers from Kyoto Brewing Company. And here we are with another beer from Kyoto Brewing Company in Kyoto, Japan. And this is a beer that is actually made for the winter season. Kind of unusual, it is a sour beer. And sour beer made for the winter. This is called Kyoto Brewing Low Hanging Fruit or Tawawa Nare in Japanese. And I was thinking about the name and I'm not quite sure why they call it low hanging fruit. Uh, low hanging fruit often has the, the uh, in English it has the meaning of something that's easy to get. Uh, uh, the first things you get rather than the more difficult ones. Uh, and this is a fruit sour with mikan, which is a kind of uh, Asian, uh, I guess the closest we'd have in, in uh, in the West is a tangerine, um, and it's 7%, so a little bit higher alcohol. And apparently they were thinking about the idea of a sour beer, which is generally thought of as a warm, warmer weather drink, and how could they make it into a winter one uh, with fruit? And they hit on the idea of mikan, which is uh, a winter fruit in Japan. Very, very common. In every supermarket you'll see lots and lots of uh, Mikan uh, for sale in the winter time and not in the summer. So the sour as a typically summer beer, but Mikan as a winter fruit, they included that in this. This is a 7% beer and zero international bittering units, none, no hops uh, use it at all. The malt is called Golden Promise. And then the, the uh, secondary ingredient is the Mikan juice. It has two reviews on rate beer only at uh, an average score of 3.53 on untapped 40 ratings and 
rather high, 3.98. Uh, I think I've said before I'm not terribly much of a sour beer fan, but I, I can drink them and uh, can enjoy them, you know, and we'll see about this one. Certainly does look like meat gum juice. Look at that. Very, very interesting. Uh, completely cloudy, orangish, orange gold kind of color with a less than a finger of kind of filmy head here. Let's see what we get. So it does have the appearance of a orange drink or orange juice, perhaps. Uh, oh my, oh my. Okay, well this is a kettle sour. So right away the first note we get is a kind of uh, rather pungent lactic note. And then the suggestion of what could be citrus, but primarily lactic. Well, okay, okay. Uh, definitely get the Mekon out of this. The lactic note, uh, lactic is still there. Hmm. The sourness is a bit tart, very kind of medium astringency. Most definitely has mikan. Uh, mikan is not uh, is a sweeter, more sweeter, sweet than uh, citric. Uh, so compared to uh, orange, for example, uh, or grapefruit, uh, mikan definitely tends to be more sweet. So it seems like the sweetness and the uh, lactic acid notes are kind of competing with each other. Very pleasant, kind of refreshing. A little bit thicker than many sours, I think. A little bit heavier body. Nice tartness on the tongue. Again, 7% alcohol. You don't really feel it, though. It's certainly back there. Yeah. Okay, interesting beer. Uh, you might want to give this one a try during the winter season. You can uh, order these on Kyoto Brewing's website uh, if you can't find them in your area. And uh, they have a very easy to use website, and uh, you should check out a lot of their other beers as well. Once again, this is Kyoto Brewing Low Hanging Fruit or Tawawa Nare in uh, Japanese, and it's a fruit sour with mikan. 7% uh, alcohol, fruit, sour. So give it a go. Okay, well, a few more Kyoto Brewing beers in our lineup this time, and I uh, hope you uh, stick around for those. I also have a playlist of Kyoto Brewing beers. You can check those out as well. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.